All right, YouTube. Hey, Josh here, Attica Lumber Company. Check out this project pole barn right here. 20 by 28, nine feet, six inches. Actually out here in Erie County, Ohio to kind of give you the setup here. Now, if you've been following this channel, I profiled this building, oh, about three, four days ago. But again, 20 by 28, nine feet, six inches. And to kind of give you some specs on this, check out this wainscot right there. Same color, three foot section there. You see that that's actually, to give you some perspective for those of you at home there, that's actually a tan and then the sidewall steel a tan as well. But look at how we kind of put the trim on this building. See that right there, the trim. So if you're thinking about color coordination of colors there, look at that versus the tan, three feet there. All right on that. All right, then actually some specs on this one. Actually, it's a 16 by eight overhead door there. Now that porch on that, that runs the full 28 on that. And that actually goes out seven feet, nine inches. All right, to give you some specs there. So we set that up there, a four by six post there on the porch. All right, so again, you can see this, a three by four windows. Now we set that right there on the wainscot trim there. Now you're probably, if you've been following this channel long enough and watch enough of these videos, you can see there's different ways on how to place the windows for aesthetics and so forth. But you can see we place these three by four windows right there on that wainscot trim. And again, you see how we keep that up just a little bit. I haven't mentioned this maybe in the last few videos, but you wanna leave that crack right there. See how that crack there, the wainscot and that trim, and then the sidewall steel, because if you put it flush, for example, water will sit there. And this has happened maybe once or twice in the last 10 or 15 years, but water will come up on that sidewall panel and rust. It doesn't happen a lot, but you want to keep a little gap, a little fissure there. All right, so again, you can see the white underneath the porch here. Now this can come in a variety of different colors. All right, so if you're gonna follow along on this, but actually we just did a project and I don't think I highlighted this, but this was actually in Crawford County. He did his interior ceiling. Now keep this in mind, kind of the retro look. Kind of that galvaloom, kind of like what you see at Chipotle, kind of that retro steel, but it looked really sharp. And that was the first one we did in a, in a couple years, but he did that on the interior liner panel on the metal ceiling. So instead of the traditional white, because sometimes you go the white, it might look maybe a little too white. And But he did actually a retrofit, uh, kind of like Chipotle, and it really looks sharp. So I will try to get that uploaded for you guys there. But again, a 20 by 28, 10 feet tall there. And that's actually a monochrome wainscot and you can see how we came off that porch right there again that's a traditional 412 pitch there and you see how we ran that porch off of there as well then let me just get you the back side of this and also the 4x2 window on the other eave and then we'll wrap this up all right so another project that we got complete but this is a nice quaint functional I would say two car garage, but a 20 by 28, you can see that four by two right there. And then you see you got the gutter installed as well. So kind of depends on what you want to do, but I think, you know, look at that wainscot, same color there. Again, it turned out pretty good there. The wainscot matching the sidewall steel with some accentuating trim as well. So again, comments always welcome to the next one. Keep it locked, keep it loaded right here. Attic Lumber and then atticlumber.com.